welcome to Showpad. Today we're going to go ahead and cover our brand new meetings feature that allows you to effortlessly and seamlessly look up content that you've actually shared during individual meetings and log that inf information and activity directly into Salesforce. So the first thing that you'll notice is on the top left hand side there's those three little lines. Let's click into it. From here it'll take you directly into what's called your channel viewer. Here on the bottom left hand side you'll see a new feature called meetings. Go ahead and click into it. Once here you'll notice that there's a couple options. The first option is to connect your calendar. So you'll see that that option is right here. Go ahead and click connect your calendar. From here you can go ahead and actually select a specific calendar such as my work. I'm going to go ahead and click done and now I'm enabled. At this point I'm able to also connect my Salesforce account which is step two. So in the top left hand side I'll go into my settings area and here at the bottom you will notice an option to connect to Salesforce. Go ahead and click that option. There'll be an additional pop-up window that will allow you to log into your Salesforce account. Okay, once you've gone ahead and connected your Salesforce.com account and your calendar to the actual Showpad mobile app, you'll be able to actually go into the meetings area and notice that you have a chronological listing of all of the different calendar events that you have within your calendar. And you'll see that it's going back in time, the 26th, the 25th, 24th, so on and so forth. Now let's say that I wanted to go back in time and actually record a meeting that maybe I forgot to record or just didn't get it recorded on my behalf. So I can go into the one that says sales meeting with Ruth right here and simply tap into that actual scheduled meeting. What it's going to do is bring up this additional window and what you'll see here is that it has a couple different pieces of information. At the top, it has some information regarding sales meetings with Ruth, right? It has the two participants, the original time, and the actual time. Now, a little bit below here, it also has a start and an end time. Now, if I scroll down a little bit, you'll also notice that what this is is a chronological listing of every single item that I uh, actually displayed to Ruth during my session. Now, you'll see that when I get to the bottom, there's also these items here that look in a different color. They're not quite the bold black, right? This means that these items were displayed, but they were displayed outside of the time that, uh, that I actually indicated within the actual meeting. So you'll see that if I go back to the top here, it says between 1.30 and 2. But what if this meeting actually took a little bit further, uh, excuse me, a little bit longer, like 2.15, for example. So I can tap into this record. And simply extend this record out a little bit further to 215 just like that so now when I tap back into this window I can click down to the bottom you'll see that it now actually extended the time to 215 and it added a couple additional items here that were covered during that time slot all right so now once I've actually set the specific time and made sure that that's correct I can simply click the next button on the top right and it'll take me one layer deeper. And what this is going to do now is bring up a custom form that allows me to actually save this individual uh, record into Salesforce. And there are going to be some mandatory fields that you need to be aware of. So the first one is here that says assign to. Now keep in mind all of these fields will be uh, customized within your instance. But for example, in my record, I have to assign this to somebody. So I'm going to go ahead and assign it to myself as I was actually the individual that had the meeting, right? Then I'm going to scroll down a little bit further, and I'm actually going to choose something that this is related to, right? I want to relate this individual record to something. So I'm going to click the related to option. Or excuse me, let me click this one here at the bottom. I can go into the account area, and then from here I can actually type in the name of an account. So what I'm going to type in is sales, for example, and then I'm going to put at and you'll see that now I get an account called sales at Showpad Inc., which is our internal test account here. I'm going to go ahead and select that option. And now I can also scroll down. And there's one last option for me called seniority level. I'm going to put first line. And you always just want to remember that you have to fill out all of the mandatory fields. Once I go ahead and do that, I can go ahead and click save in the top right hand side. And you'll see that this individual record will now actually save into Salesforce. Now at any point I can go ahead and scroll down to the bottom. If I scroll back to the top actually here within my meetings area and I go back to the area, you'll see that I have a sales meeting with Ruth right here that has a little green check mark. That lets me know that I can actually save this to salesforce.com and now it has been saved. 
If I tap into this record, you'll see that it doesn't give me the option to save it anymore. In fact, what it does, it gives me the option to view this in Salesforce. So that's a little bit of information on how to actually save a meeting, push it into salesforce.com, and then review it. If you do have any questions on this, you can always reach us at support at showpad.com.